welcome to Highbox Reviews. I'm your host, Henny. With me today is my lovely husband, Stanley, and we're doing Spider-Man Cross the uh, the Spider-Verse Part 1 reaction. It's the Into the Spider-Verse sequel. Yeah. Yes. And we loved that yeah. first Miles one. That Miles was so awesome. freaking cool. Well, it was just a really nice kind of breath of fresh air because... Mm -hmm. Not only it was making fun of itself, like, you know, but just the whole the sort of... The heart of the story, too, was great. Yeah, like, I mean, it was like a little bit of a sequel to those original um, Tobey Maguire uh, Spider-Man mm. movies and stuff, which I was pretty stoked about. So, um, you ready to watch this? Yes. Cool. Meanwhile, in another universe... Because they had that little cameo at the end. Yeah. Oh, sweet. This is really cool. Like, I love the way this ended as well. Things are floating. Because mm. Spider-Gwen was um, trying to get a hold of him. Oh, dear. This is kind of sweet. <laughs> Very cute. <laughs> What's the explanation? This is cool. <laughs> this is looking pretty oh, cool. Wow. This is really like cool kind of oh. storytelling and stuff. Hey. Future Spidey. Oh, is it a bad future Spidey? I don't know if he's bad. The colors in this are so cool. Yeah. Across the Spidey verse. Ooh. Part one. What? Yeah. October it. 7, oh, 2022. God. So long. That's like a whole year away. No, oh, wow. Nearly a whole year. <laughs> But, oh, you're um, gonna wait that long? Yeah, that's that's kind of sucky. Mm-hmm. Um, like crap. <laughs> that's really. Uh, that's such a gut punch. <laughs> just to be like, you know, I know we're Wild spoiled punch. and stuff. Yeah. I'm that guy who was growing up through, you know, the 80s and 90s, where we'd have to wait years in between. Yes. You know, Star Wars sequels and freaking uh, just a basic comic movie. To come out, you'd have to wait years. You'd hear like inklings off, like, "Oh, they're talking about doing a Blade movie. Oh, mm -hmm. they're talking about doing this and that." But um, yeah, so we got to wait. Technically, yeah, we got to wait like ten months, roughly. Yeah, but it looks really good. The colors are good. They're... Yeah, kept the same tone. Yeah, we're taking off from where the last one uh, departed. And it was a little bit heartbreaking with Miles at the end, where it's just kind of like you think, oh, yeah, he's not going to see anyone mm. ever again. But that little tease of hearing Gwen at the end saying, hey, Miles, you got a minute? I want that explanation of like, well, what the hell's happening? Like, yeah. I thought it would kind of corrupt the whole, you know, base of reality and stuff if they bounce to each other's universe and stuff. But I'm not sure. Like, they'll explain to everything, but I'm not sure what they're going to do with um, future Spidey and yeah. stuff. Like, I know he's like Spidey 2099 or whatever the hell he is, but <laughs> call him future Spidey. Future Spidey! Um, so, like, yeah, Oscar Isaac's playing his voice and stuff. Oh, Don't know if we'll see nice. potentially either flashbacks or whatever of Chris Pine's uh, version of Spider-Man uh, in Miles' yeah, yeah, yeah. universe and cool. stuff. But, um, yeah, I did like the... Um, <laughs> 
I want I want tracksuit pants, Spidey. I want fat <laughs> Spidey back. That was really cool. That was good. <laughs> but um, yeah, this looks all cool. I'm pretty happy. Like yeah. you know, it looks like they're just sticking to, you know, keeping it keeping it real with yeah. what made the first one so successful and stuff. And yeah, well, let's know what you thought in the comments below. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. And thanks, thanks for watching, watching. guys. Bye. Bye.